Hey there, it's great to have you back for another video. My name is Erin Eno and today we are going to paint this simple and fun holly and berries. So grab your paints and let's get started. Before we get started, I'll just run through my materials for you. Today I'm using my Arsh cold press watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton. 140 pound and I've trimmed it down to five by seven. I'm using my Van Gogh paints. I have a jar of water and a paper towel as always. And for brushes, I am using a Princeton Snap in a size two round and a Curry's uh, store brand. Ugh. Let me try that again. A Curry's store brand brush in a size 10 round. You will also need a pencil and an eraser. I'm using my kneaded eraser. And in addition to that, you will also need a straightened out paper clip. I am actually going to use the little tool that kind of comes with my phone to poke out the drawer for the SIM card. You may have some of these that they work quite well as well. And that's it. So we can start first by drawing out our holly leaves and berries. I'm sure you, most of you know what a holly leaf looks like. It's just a simple leaf shape, but it's got um, a bunch of curves and points on it. So I'm gonna do three holly leaves and a group of berries in the middle. So I'll just start with my first leaf here. Whoops, I don't, on already I don't like it. Let me try this again. And one thing you need to know is that they don't have to be symmetrical. You don't have to have the same amount of points on the left side as you do on the right, okay? it's not important because they're not symmetrical in real life. Not sure if I like that one. I know I don't like that. I kind of mis misjudged the end point there. I'm going to come out a little further and then go in just like that. And a third one coming out over here. like that and those are our leaves I think I'm a little close to the edge of my paper over here so I'm gonna have to fix that up sorry I know my table's bouncing hopefully in the new year I'll have a better setup and I won't have a bouncy camera I'm actually gonna make this the last point like that and I think I'm going to add another point in here, just a little one. Just like that. Okay, so there are three leaves. I'm just gonna pick up some of the lines in here, lighten them up a bit, and then I will put in the berry. So I will do one here. No, they're not perfectly round. And I will do one here, let's say. Maybe one underneath over here. And another one up here. And one here and maybe one underneath these berries here. 
that's a little big but I can fix that out when I paint it and maybe another one here okay so I've got a fair amount of berries on this now I am going to I just drew that dark enough so you guys could see it so now I'm just going to take my needle eraser and lighten the lines and I will fast forward it because it's going to make my desk jiggle and you don't want to see that okay so now that the lines are all light I'm going to go in with my number two brush and I'm going to mix up the color for the berries I just I want it kind of an orangey red so I'm using um, some carmine and some cadmium red light which is a little on the orange side actually it's it's quite orange okay I just don't want a pure red for the berries and I just want to do a light wash where the berries are going to go just so I know where they are when I paint my leaves okay actually I'm going to do this one right on top so there's one there's another one here now this is just going to be a cluster um, so we'll figure out which ones are sitting on top and which ones are underneath when we go in and put the shading on but I just want to put the berries in so I make sure I don't cover up any berry spots with the green and I just want it light enough that um, it still allows me to put a little bit of a highlight on the berries okay so now that those are in place we can start painting our leaves and for the green I want to use a bluish green so I'm going to mix up some sap green with a little bit of indigo in it to make it darker and bluer just want a nice deep green for the leaves okay so we have a nice dark deep green and I'm going to take some of the pigment off my brush and go in and start painting our first holly leaf maybe a little more pigment than that okay and I find um, with the points that it's easier to take your brush right to the point and then drag it in towards the leaf rather than trying to go from the leaf out to the point you have a little more control over the sharpness of the leaf this way that's what I find and I'm using my size 10 brush because I know this brush has a nice point on it so if you need to use a different size brush that's cool as long as it's got a nice point that's the most important thing you don't want to go too small though because your leaf will dry too fast on you okay so again I'm going starting at the point and coming back into the leaf just like that and you can see you get nice sharp points that way same with around the berries just be careful you're not covering up your berries like I just did there just going to see if I can pick it up just like that and then I'm going to well first of all I'm going to clean off the paint that I just got on my paper Whoop. if you get to this quick enough you can usually pick them up pick up your little errors if I didn't get to it quick enough 
then we're going to have a few little marks where I didn't want them, but that's okay. It's all good. Now I want to make sure that this whole leaf is wet right out to the points. Okay, so I'm just going to go over everything just to make sure it's all good and wet. Because you can see some of the spots starting to dry. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and fill up that whole leaf. Because the furnace is on, because it's getting cold here now, um, it makes the house dry. So that will make your paints dry faster. So just keep that in mind. If you're living in a humid climate, you won't have this problem so much, but it's pretty dry here. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with more pigment than water, and I'm just going to tap around the outside in some areas just to get some kind of shadows and depth to this leaf. And the paint, because we made sure our leaf was still wet, this is only going to travel where the paper is wet. So that's why it'll keep your points where you initially painted them. Okay, so just like that. I don't need to go crazy because that's going to bleed out. Then you are going to take your paper clip or your little SIM card tool like I have and you're just going to lightly drag it through your leaf. Like so. And that will make the paint fall into that line that you just drew and that's going to give us the um, the impression of veins on the leaves okay and you don't have to press very hard and you don't have to put veins everywhere either you can just do like you know rough little ones just to get a little indication of some veins so that's that now I'm going to rinse off my brush, dry it off on my paper towel, and I'm just going to start picking up some highlights on this leaf. Maybe a little highlight up here. And that, because it's so wet, it's going to be softened because that highlight's going to kind of blend out. Okay? But I do want some definite highlight ugh, definite highlights on the leaf in some areas again this is just giving it more shape and dimension and don't go crazy just like do some and then let it sit for a bit to see how they how they blend out and soften up for you if they don't you can always kind of take your brush and kind of squiggle it around to soften it up a bit just like that Okay, and we'll get on to our leaf number two. So again, going back to the dark green, getting some of the pigment off our brush. And starting from points and dragging it in. And I think that berry, there's a pencil line there. Do I want that on top? Yeah, I want the berry on top there. So I'm just going to be very careful. To keep that berry shape. So I'm going from the points into the leaf. Like so.
Okay, just like that. And I'm going to take some of the water off my brush because it's a little wetter than it was doing the last leaf. And I'm going to go into the straight green and start tapping it in to get that depth again. Now we're going to take the tool again and lightly drag it through to create a vein. You're not pushing very hard at all when you do this because as it sits and the paint settles in, the veins will start to look darker. So don't, you know, don't think that they're not going to show up if they don't show up right when you do the, the dragging. If you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to rinse and dry off my brush again and go in and start dragging out or dragging out, uh, start picking up some paint to create some highlights again. So you're just dragging it through to pick up the paint and then wipe it off on your paper towel. You might want to do some right down the length of the middle vein, maybe. Just play around with it. Just like so. Okay. Just like that. I think that's enough. Don't want to go crazy. And then we have one last leaf to do. Okay, so again starting at the point and coming in to the leaf like that and being careful around the berries again of course And then go in with the darker pigment again and start tapping around where you want some shaded areas. It seems like it's dried up a little bit on me and that's not kind of bleeding out the way I would like it to. So I'm just going to add in a little bit more water just to soften those bleeds up. Then I'm going to go in with my little tool again and start at the tip. Kind of follow the curve of the leaf and then start throwing in a few little veins. Just like that. Okay. Then we can go in and draw off our brush. We'll clean my brush off rather and dry it off and then start picking up some highlights again. Just like that. Now the highlights on this leaf aren't as light as I would like them to be. I'm just going to try to re-wet this, reactivate this green and maybe some a little bit here and see if I can pick up some more pigment there without getting a weird kind of bloom happening. There we go. There, that's better. 
Now with that done, we can start our berries. So for the berries, of course, I'm going to use my number two and I'm using some, well, as I said, some carmine with a bit of that cadmium red light or permanent red light. And with more pigment this time, I'm going to go over the berry. I want to do the one that's, that I know is on the very top, which would be this one. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that light area to act as a highlight. Okay, and I'm, my, my light source is going to be coming from this way. So I'm going to leave that highlight. I'm going to actually do this berry at the same time. Get it as round as I can. Leave the highlight again. So I just want to do a couple of them first. Okay, then I'm going to clean off my brush take the excess water off on my paper towel and I'm just going to soften this, soften that um, highlight out just like that. That's why I'm doing a couple at a time because I want the, hot, the paint to be um, just a little drier, just like that. And we'll do this guy, actually we'll do this one here because that leaf is still wet. So I'm just going to do this one, which comes right up to this leaf. And because it's underneath that leaf, it won't have too much of a highlight on it. And I'm going to put it under that berry too. Okay. So I'm not too concerned about getting a real a noticeable highlight on this guy. Now we can do the berries underneath. So I'm going to add a bit of sepia to these. You could use green as well because that would give you like a brownie red but I just want to use the sepia have a little more control at how red I want it to be. So then I'm going to go and do this berry that's underneath this leaf because it's going to have a lot of shading on it. Okay then I'm going to clean off my brush go into the red and just kind of blend this out to red. Just like that. And then the same thing for these guys under here. Then I'm going to go into the carmine again with a bit of that cadmium red. Sorry, I keep saying cadmium red, permanent red, and a little bit of the brown, just so it's a little deeper. And just part, start putting a little more shape to these berries, just like that. just to give them a little bit more dimension. Okay, and I'm going to clean off my brush and just blend this shadow out a bit.
Okay, so there are your berries. And for one last little detail, I'm going to go into the red again. Not actually, sorry, I didn't mean that. Into the green. And just tap on the berries to give them a little bit of a berry, um, I don't know what it is. It's not really a stem. I don't know what you would call it, but it's there. One thing I've noticed is this leaf is dried a little flat. So I'm just going to go into my brush. It's not sopping wet. I'm going to go into that dark green and I'm just going to tap it here around the berries. Okay. And I'm going to dry off or take off most of the pigment on my paper towel. And just with a dry brush, I'm just going to start blending this out a bit. It was just a little too light down there. I'm going to fix up this tip too. And then I can also just go in and just put a little bit more pigment back in this area of this leaf because I think the highlight was just a little too drastic. So if you're going to go back in and rework any part, just don't have too much water on your brush or you might end up just getting some weird blooms and you don't want that. Just a little deeper. Okay, I just wanted to give it a little more depth towards the center. So I'm just going to dry off my brush and just with a damp brush, just kind of blend this out a little bit. So it's not real harsh. And that just gives that leaf the depth towards the center that it was lacking. So that is your finished holly and berries. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it helpful. If you want to see more beginner friendly tutorials, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also if you're on Instagram and you do this tutorial, please be sure to share your work and tag me. It's always fun to take a look at what you guys come up with. That's it for today, guys. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one.